actually, in the last 25 years, I looked up the data. Uh, November is the second best month of the year, just slightly behind April, which is the first best month. So I, I do think we're going to have a, a year end rally over here. The world of investing in 2023 has been a wild roller coaster ride, and the recent sell off has left many investors uncertain about the fate of their annual gains. But before you start packing your bags, there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon, and it's grounded in strong seasonality and some significant developments. Get ready for a potential year-end rally that could transform your investments into resounding winners in 2024. Renowned Wharton professor Jeremy Siegel, a luminary in the field of finance, is a firm believer in the power of history to forecast the future. Drawing from his expertise, he suggests that investors are on the verge of entering a historically robust month. By heeding his seasoned advice, you can position yourself for success in the final stretch of 2023. Seasonality has been a long-standing guiding principle in the realm of finance. Historical patterns have consistently shown that certain months exhibit more bullish tendencies than others. In this video, we'll discuss the fascinating concept of seasonality and how it can shape your investment strategy. Furthermore, we will explore three stocks that have traditionally benefited from year-end rallies and could be poised to do so once again. So, stay tuned and be sure to hit that like button if you find this information valuable. Let's dive straight into our first stock. And that is none other than Google's parent company, Alphabet Inc., ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L. Alphabet stands out as an enticing investment opportunity, despite the recent sell-off following its Q3 earnings report. There are many reasons for being bullish on Google, including but not limited to its strong Q3 performance, the resilience of Google Cloud, the enduring strength of its core search business, diversification efforts, and its attractive valuation multiples. Let's dive into a few reasons. Q3 double-digit growth and profitability. Google's Q3 earnings report revealed robust performance. The company reported $76.8 billion in revenue, marking an impressive 11% year-over-year growth. The noteworthy point here is that this growth extended to nearly all revenue segments, with double-digit revenue expansion. Google Search and other revenue showcased an 11.4% increase, reaching $44.03 billion. YouTube ad revenue demonstrated a solid 12.4% growth, amounting to $7.95 billion. Other revenue experienced remarkable growth of 21%, reaching $8.34 billion. And Google Cloud recorded an impressive sales increase of 22.6%, reaching $8.41 billion. What's even more compelling is the increase in Google's net income margin, expanding from 20% in Q3 of 2022 to nearly 26% in Q3 of 2023. This has resulted in an astonishing 42% increase in net income, showcasing Google's financial strength. The second reason for my bullish stance is Google Cloud growth, which is a solid foundation. While concerns were raised about the growth of Google Cloud, it is essential to view this deceleration in the context of changing customer behavior. Existing customers, having experienced the efficiency and reliability of the platform, are likely optimizing costs amidst economic uncertainty. Google Cloud remains a solid platform for modern data and AI solutions. Moreover, over 60% of the world's top 1,000 companies still rely on Google Cloud. Generative AI startups are also embracing Google Cloud, laying the groundwork for further growth in this dynamic industry. The upcoming Gemini AI project promises to enhance Google Cloud's appeal and competitiveness in the AI sector, further solidifying its position in the market. In addition to that, Google's core search business continues to exhibit strength, with an 11% increase in Q3. Despite concerns about the rise of AI-driven language models like ChatGPT, traditional search engines still play a vital role in internet browsing. User sentiment favors traditional search engines for finding specific information efficiently. As far as diversification is concerned, Google's diversification efforts, exemplified by the success of Pixel phones, contribute to its resilience. The positive reception of Pixel devices with year-over-year -year sales growth demonstrates the company's expansion in the smartphone market. Google's integrated approach, including Google Assistant with AI features, enhances the user experience and strengthens brand loyalty. Furthermore, 
Google's integration of services like YouTube and cloud across various devices solidifies its position as a multifaceted technology giant. Google's valuation multiples are among the lowest among the mega cap tech giants. Its forward GAAP P to E ratio of 21.5 is notably lower than Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, and only slightly higher than Meta. Additionally, its price to sales ratio ranks among the lowest, second only to Amazon. This lower valuation is not justified by its performance given its impressive growth figures. Second on our list is none other than Amazon.com Inc, ticker symbol AMZN. Amazon continues to impress with its strong Q3 financial results that surpassed expectations and pointed to a promising future. In light of these results, we maintain a bullish outlook on Amazon and its long-term growth potential. Here, we outline the key reasons for our optimism and why we believe Amazon remains an attractive investment opportunity. First, Amazon's Q3 earnings report exceeded both Wall Street consensus and prior estimates, demonstrating the company's resilience and improved profitability. The stock jumped 8% in response to the earnings release, signaling a positive market reaction. Despite challenging economic conditions marked by high interest rates, persistent inflation, and subdued consumer spending, Amazon's performance has been impressive. The results reveal a clear bottoming, or even an uptrend across multiple metrics, which is a strong indicator of better times ahead for the company. Additionally, Amazon is visibly enhancing its operational efficiency, dispelling previous concerns about retail profitability and its dependence on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. Secondly, Amazon's retail segment has made a remarkable resurgence, particularly in North America. In Q3, the North American segment reported revenue of $87.9 billion, marking an 11% year-over-year -year increase. This growth rate remains steady despite consumer price consciousness. Additionally, the international retail segment reported revenue of $32.1 billion, reflecting an 11% year-over-year growth. Both segments have seen operating margins improve significantly, with the North American segment reporting its sixth consecutive quarter of margin expansion. This enhanced profitability signals Amazon's capacity to generate substantial profits in its retail segments, even in a challenging operating environment. These improvements result from scaling back investments and optimizing delivery networks. As a result, the retail segment offers a positive long-term outlook with the potential for substantial cash flows. In addition to that, Amazon's advertising and subscription services are emerging as strong growth drivers. These services offer higher margins and contribute to a reliable revenue stream. Amazon's extensive user base provides a valuable platform for advertising and subscription growth. As a result, these services enhance the company's overall investment appeal. Amazon's advertising revenue is recovering and is expected to accelerate as it leverages its vast user base. Advertising growth is predicted to gain momentum as Amazon benefits from the growth of the digital advertising industry, taking market share from competitors like Meta and Google. Amazon's operating margin expanded by 400 basis points year over year to 30.3% in AWS, demonstrating an impressive improvement in profitability. The retail segments also experienced a significant margin expansion. These improved margins are attributed to scaling back investments, the optimization of delivery networks, and the growth of advertising and subscription revenues. The net income margin, excluding a pre-tax gain from the Rivian automotive investment, was 6%. Amazon's management provided Q4 revenue guidance that indicated a potential slowdown in growth, reflecting the challenging retail environment. However, they also guided for significant operating income, leaving room for upside. The market recognized the conservative nature of the guidance, and analysts anticipate strong results for Amazon. Our long-term projections for Amazon are based on a conservative estimate of the company's growth, margins, and industry trends. Even with conservative estimates, Amazon's potential cash flows remain impressive. Based on a P to E ratio of 32 times by fiscal year 25, our calculations yield a price target of $165, offering investors an opportunity for double digit annual returns. And finally, Microsoft Corporation, ticker symbol MSFT. 
Microsoft has proven to be an exceptional investment opportunity, offering a unique combination of resilience, growth, and the potential for a stock split. The company's strong Q1 earnings for 2024, the recent Activision acquisition, and its financial stability make it a standout choice for investors. Here are the reasons why Microsoft is the perfect stock and why it may be on the verge of a stock split. During the global financial crisis, Microsoft showcased remarkable financial resilience. While many companies struggled, cut dividends, and faced significant price declines, Microsoft continued to post growth. This exceptional performance during a challenging economic period demonstrates the company's robust business model. The GFC was no ordinary recession, and Microsoft's ability to thrive during those tough times speaks volumes about its strength. Despite a temporary drop in 2009, Microsoft quickly rebounded, consistently growing its revenue, operating income, and net income. This indicates that even in the face of a looming economic recession, Microsoft is well prepared to navigate the challenging market conditions. Microsoft is well prepared to navigate the challenging market conditions and continue its growth trajectory. Microsoft continues to invest in its future, with the recent acquisition of Activision being a prime example. The acquisition is expected to be immediately accredited to Microsoft and will contribute positively to the devices segment, which saw a decline in the last two quarters. The purchase of Activision is expected to boost Xbox content and services revenue, projecting a mid to high 50s growth rate. Furthermore, Microsoft's significant investment of $3.16 billion in Australia, focusing on AI, cloud computing, and cybersecurity, is the company's largest ever investment in the country. This move is poised to place Microsoft at the forefront of the AI industry, a sector that's set to grow rapidly. The partnership between Microsoft and Amazon, worth a billion dollars for cloud productivity tools, demonstrates the company's commitment to innovation and collaboration. As AI takes center stage in various industries, Microsoft is well positioned to lead in this space. Microsoft's dividend track record, although not as lengthy as some other dividend aristocrats, is strong. The company has consistently paid dividends for 17 years, with 13 years of consecutive dividend growth. This history, coupled with its double-digit dividend growth rate, appeals to income and growth investors alike. From 2003 to the present, Microsoft has raised its dividend from $0.08 cents to $0.75, cents, with the most recent increase of 10%. Despite increased capital expenditures related to AI investment, the dividend remains well covered by free cash flow, with an average payout ratio of just 33% over a six-year period. In Q1, Microsoft's free cash flow increased by 22% year-over-year to $20.7 billion, more than enough to cover its annual dividend payouts. Microsoft has a history of stock splits, with several occurring during the 1990s, and the most recent being a two-for-one split nearly 21 years ago. As the stock has risen by over 200% in the last five years, there is potential for another stock split in the future. Large companies like Alphabet and Amazon have recently conducted stock splits to attract a broader range of investors. A stock split could be on the horizon for Microsoft, especially after the Activision acquisition settles. Historically, Microsoft stock splits were aimed at making the company more accessible to a wider range of investors. Additionally, the company's share repurchases over the past decade have reduced the outstanding shares, setting the stage for a potential stock split in the future.